it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. For today's video, I'm just taking you along the day with me and I wanted to start off with a random haul because I have a lot of really cool stuff that I've recently got that I feel like you guys would like but it's kind of random to put on my main channel. And then I also am just cleaning up my space and I'll show you a bit of my apartment. So a bit of an apartment update. And today I've just been on hold. I've been on a call. I'm dealing with health insurance and it's not easy when you're foreign because just, I'm not even gonna get into it, but know that I had a frustrating morning, so I decided to film something fun and get myself out of my funk. So I'll begin with my couch. I finally got a couch. This one is from Wayfair and it came in two parts. So it actually got through my door because my first couch when I moved into this New York apartment had to go away. I don't know what happened to it, if it was thrown out, probably sold by the moving people. And now I have this couch, which is great. I love it. It's very like girly and chic and I'm dumb and I bought another white couch. So I have to be very careful around it. And then two of my purchases recently that I am so excited about, they're not beauty related, but planning related. I got this journal, which is the prettiest freaking journal I've ever seen. It's leather and uh, monogrammed and we have some just gorgeous detailing. It looks like an old book and then has gold pages. And what I like to do for my everyday journal is I like to post, put like inspiration pictures in here and then I just journal my thoughts and planning but in a very like junk journal way. So that's um, what I do for this one. But I am very disorganized, like extremely disorganized. So I also got myself the Amanda Reachley Doodle Planner and I'm hoping that I can use both of these to try to manage my very messy brain. Um, so if you haven't seen the Doodle Planner, it's amazing. Let me just read exactly what it should be called. So it's a hybrid between a calendar, a journal, and a coloring book. And I just think this is the coolest thing because I tried to get into bullet journaling. It just wasn't for me, there was just like, a lot of time that I feel like I had to put down for it and I would get too like perfectionist about it so I like to junk journal but I always loved the idea of bullet journaling for organization and how creative it was so this is amazing that it's Amanda spreads and I just think she's the most creative and coolest and I've been meaning to share this on my main channel as well but I wanted to fill it out before I did that and I am late to starting I told myself 2020 year of organization but um off to a late start but I am gonna try and I just I think this is really cool so there are my two journals that I'm in love with and the next couple things are all fashion related so I'll show you first <laughs> my jacket that I got it is so mild the winter is so much shorter here it's been beautiful and um, I haven't really needed to wear like a big parka jacket or anything so I got another fun jacket and this is plaid. It's like faux fur kind of material and it's just so chic and I just love the pattern. So let me put this on. I'm not gonna try everything on, but this one for sure. I just love this so much. So this is from Lulu's actually everything is in this haul because I just did one order. I used to have a contact there and they used to send me stuff. It was amazing. Don't have that contact anymore, so now I buy it. But um, I mean, money well spent. I love their stuff. This is a sweater that I got that gives me such cabin vibes. I love the sleeves. And if you do want to get this sweater as well, I would say it runs small. Like it's really cropped. I kind of wish I got it a size bigger, but I just love the pattern. So that's that. I really want to go on like a ski vacation and wear that just like in the cabin, but maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens this year. And then I got this really pretty top that um, is this green shade. I love wearing green. I love pastels and, and then on the flip side, I like dark maroons, deep greens like this as well as dark browns. So there's kind of my favorite color palettes and I think this would be really nice with a dark brown leather jacket. Ooh, this is inside out. One of my favorite purchases from Madewell is their bodysuit turtlenecks. They have this in like this burnt orange shade, um, gray and then black, but I've been getting so much use out of this black one. It's super form fitted, comfortable, and I love it. Really, really chic. It's like this, but thicker and black, of course. What else do I have here? Is that it from Lulu's? Oh, my boots. This is a really messy video, but you know, ooh, I just wanna have a channel where I'm just kind of unfiltered because 
it's fun. So these are my winter boots. Again, are they practical? I don't know, but I feel fabulous when I'm a bit taller. So I got some heel on here. I'm pretty sure I'm like as tall as my boyfriend in these. And then uh, I love the fur and how they do up. So here's a closer look. Oh yeah, I got one more thing from Lulu's that I haven't worn yet, but it is a um, poncho, I think that's what it's called. It's quite warm and it has these cute tassels. And I envisioned this with like a funky pair of pants and like skating or something. But here are the pants that I got. They are my favorite um, brand of pants. They fit me the best, Tory Burch. And I always thrift them because then they're like a little bit worn in and they just fit me the best. So this is a really pretty kind of, is that periwinkle? I think so. Pair of pants and I have a bunch of different styles from Tory Burch. I'm pretty sure they're pretty expensive when you don't get them thrifted, but I found them on Poshmark, and by the way, I do have a Poshmark account. If you guys want to check it out, it's Jackie Wires. I don't have a ton of stuff put up there. I wait till the things that I have were like purchased, and then I'll add a couple more new items because I just want to make sure that I can manage it. But uh, I usually put up dresses that I've worn on my videos. So you should check that out if you're interested or if you know anyone who has prom coming up because I have so many prom dresses I'm gonna put on there for cheap. And then beauty. I am so excited about this. So I let you guys know that I wanted to do an Anna um, from Frozen makeup look because I did a bunch of her hairstyles. So I reached out to ColourPop. Sorry about the noise, by the way. This is living in a city. These windows that I have are not soundproof, so yeah. That's, that's what we get. But these are the ColourPop collection for Frozen. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I decided I wanted to do an Anna and Elsa look using them for my main channel. So that is what I'm gonna be working on. But just the packaging in this and the colors are just so beautiful and exciting. Hopefully you can see that. This is Elsa. I'm gonna open her up. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited. Oh, I just love the packaging. This is so cool. Then there is a lip gloss. I'm gonna try this on actually. Mmm, smells like vanilla. So you'll get a closer look at this when I do film the video, but I did wanna show you guys just because I am so excited about it right now. This I had for a while and last year I was sponsored by OGX for November and December and they sent me this um, body cream. I've never used a cream so much in my life. I am not someone who creams myself. That sounds wrong, but like creams my whole body. <laughs> I don't generally do it. I don't like how it feels, but oh, this is the smoothing and coconut coffee body cream. <sighs> I love it. I love it so much. This is huge, so it lasts forever. And I also have the body wash that I'm obsessed with. And if you are looking for a new cream, you've got to try this. So I think that's it for my haul, other than my teddy bear I have beside me, which I got for Christmas for my boyfriend, and I'm just so in love with this. We tried to name it like Penelope or something, but it didn't stick, so this is Baby Bear. And Baby Bear just chills with me through the day um and yeah that is it for my haul i haven't filmed just like straight talking like in years i yeah so if i'm a little awkward at it or like bizarre i am sorry i will work on it and now it's time to clean up and then i'll give you a little bit of a preview of like my apartment so far So I still have a big mess behind me. I have a lot more cleaning to do, but I'm losing light. So I think I'm going to take a break and um, do some stories for Instagram. I am unsure about how I'm gonna like put these chairs, how I'm gonna place them in the room. But for now, it's great to actually have a couch to sit in and I am going to try to be social this next week because I have been closed off in my apartment for like 
a month. Uh, I haven't made any plans with anyone other than my boyfriend comes over like every day, but I find that I really am struggling with my skin. You really can't tell because it's not like raised blemishes, but I pick at my skin like crazy and then I have all these marks on my face. And on camera, you really can't tell, but in person, I feel like you can. And it's not really a reason to shut myself off from people, but I have, I really have. I'm just like, oh, well, when it clears up, then I'll make friends or like, then I won't feel so awkward when I'm in public, so I'll be more myself. And I'm trying to, um, get over that but I do find it really hard I used to not be this hard on myself and when you start to close yourself off it's very easy to get stuck in it and I've been like that for a couple years now so that is something that I am definitely working on but um, yeah I'm gonna go get a smoothie continue cleaning and I think that's it for the vlog hey guys if you want to see how I get my everyday very quick and easy perky pony then just wake up I just filmed a quick and easy tutorial so yeah check it out Anyways, I will see you guys in my next vlog and uh, head over to my main channel if you want to check out this ponytail. You know, it's like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. Ha!